We have had a long day, but this guy on a dating app just asked for my phone number and I gave it to him. He sent me a very normal, hey, it's James, what are you up to? And I said, James, hello, good sir. I don't know why he said that, except that I didn't sleep last night and I'm really, be quiet! Daddy, chill. I missed the part where that's my problem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. The army of single moms is back at it again. So before we continue with the video, uh, let's just mention a few of the things that the last woman said. So she said she's a single mom, but kids comes first as it should. Uh, but it means that she won't prioritize you and she's not in it for love, but is looking for a wallet with legs and she probably doesn't want to have more kids. Then she says the bare minimum doesn't fly here, so incredibly high expectations while providing nothing in return. Uh, clingy, but I need space? What? Make it make sense, gentlemen. Uh, overthinker, trust issues, so a pain in the back, in other words, an insecure, addicted to chaos woman who will create problems out of thin air. Uh, I'm silly as hell, she says, annoying, in other words, uh, sarcastic and outspoken. So basically a beach, right? I mean, if we were to summarize a female dog, essentially, opinionated and conflictive. Try to pitch this woman to someone, right? Imagine a man comes to you and says, uh, I'm looking for a, a wife. And you say, well, I have this single mom here who won't prioritize you. And also she doesn't accept the bare minimum. She's clingy, uh, but also needs space because she's empowered. Uh, she's an overthinker. She has trust issues, daddy issues. She's healy, uh, she's silly as hell, though. Uh, but also she's sarcastic, uh, sarcastic, excuse me, and outspoken. Try to pitch that to someone, guys. Uh, and also, you don't get to be sarcastic, all right? Men don't want women who are sarcastic. I am the only one who gets to be sarcastic uh, and the only one allowed to do it. But now, guys, let's get started with the video. You know what sucks? Spending years with a motherfucker thinking you're gonna last. Have three kids with him. And they can't change for shit. They can't change for you. But they'll change for somebody else. They can't treat you right. But they'll treat somebody else right. All right, so first things first, why in the first place will you date someone that you have to change in order to like? That's what I don't get, guys. I mean, of course, uh, people change all the time. Relationships grow, compromises are made. Uh, but when you want to change someone from the bottom to the top, right? <laughs> when, when his basic attributes you have to change, why are you dating him in the first place? Because she's addicted to anxiety, of course. Because she doesn't want to go with the guys who are already good partners. No, she wants to go with the one who has potential to become good. Uh, second of, if he, quote-unquote, didn't change for you, but the moment he was with another woman, uh, he tweeted her right, it probably means he could do that all along. It's just he never saw you as a viable option, which you should have known for the many months that you wasted on this man. Uh, but of course, you have no pair bonding ability, no skills to differentiate between good men and bad men. So that's that. I met my baby daddy when I was 14. So I'm 27 now. And I'm not going to deal with his shit anymore. It only took her 13 years and him leaving for her to realize that. All right. So I'm back to where I was when I met him. 
I, I'm like 14 all over again. I'm, I didn't build a life for myself because I was with him for so long. I, I'm back to square one. So now I literally have to start over in life and build a life for myself. Uh, well, you may feel as though you're 14, but welcome to being an adult. It turns out that you are the only one who is accountable for your own future, right? And of course, uh, she probably doesn't have a father, she has daddy issues, uh, probably her parents didn't teach her well, you know, there's all those things, guys. There's all those reasons uh, that will make other people sympathize with her or, you know, uh, things that we can blame her future on, right, and her past. But truth of the matter is, guys, here is why I don't feel sympathy. Uh, if it were for me, I would want this woman to be married and happy and, you know, all the good things, guys. Uh, it's not like I'm an, an a-hole, right? Uh, absolutely dead. But it, it just turns out I'm a mummy, not, not a wizard, right? If I were a wizard to just uh, pop a wand or something and turn this woman into the perfect bride with the perfect husband, I will do it. Uh, but I'm not a wizard, right? So uh, in human world, this is how it is. You create your own future. Y you, it, what this woman expects, guys, is for the good man who she dismissed when she was younger because she wanted to chase after the bad boy. She wants those men to pick up the pieces that she broke, right? She wants you to come in. She's a single mom and play from another man's safe file and deal with all the trauma that she has brought into her life all right the, nobody forced this woman to be in this situation she chose that man she chose to be with him for 13 years or whatever years uh, knowing that he's a massive red flag all right these men guys uh, i say this multiple times but these men they're not some undercover bad boy uh, right they're not a, a wolf in sheep's clothing a everybody from this woman's inner circle of friends Will have said that that man was a red flag from 50 miles away, right? So what sympathy do you expect us to feel for the mistakes that you've done yourself? And we can feel all the sympathy you want from afar, right? We can say, oh, that's really so really sad. I'm so sorry, all that. Uh, but when it comes to us taking action and saying, oh, well, let me wife you up. Uh, let me fix what's broken. No, it's not going to happen. And guys, lastly, let me just say this. What happens to men who go through similar situations where they get married to a woman that says till death do us part uh, and then just from one day to another through no fault divorce for whatever reason just because the woman feels like she can get something better or because the glitter wore off she divorces the man takes the kids in most of the situations takes half his crap away and the man is left with nothing and years wasted of his time, right? Who sympathizes for those guys? Which in most of the cases, guys, the, these men, they don't marry the massive red flag. They marry a woman who seems half decent. And then later on, she just changes or decides to take advantage of the flawed system. Who feels sympathy for them, all right? I don't see them crying on the internet, right? The, the men who marry the massive red flag with multicolored hair and tattooed, and then they are shocked that she cheated on them, no sympathy for them. Uh, but the ones who actually tried to keep a marriage and they didn't succeed because just the woman wanted to do whatever bullcrap, okay, who is going to sympathize for them? Welcome to reality. It often sucks. Guys, let me go out on a limp here. Uh, sorry to blabber so much today, but I presume that's why you're here. So I remember a similar situation like this woman. I was walking, taking a walk, uh, and I saw a dog that was left behind to die. So there was something like a dog or something like this, and the dog was left there, and it had no way to get out of there because there were stairs, but there were these ones, not the usual ones, but the ones you have on Call of Duty, uh, which you climb while holding the gun. So the dog had no way to get out of there, and it was basically left to starve to death, right? So someone left him there. And of course, I tried to help the dog to get out of there and save him. Uh, but he, the dog was really aggressive, right? He was really uh, protective and it, it was afraid. So it, it tried to beat me every time I will try to catch it, right? And it's the same with these women, right? It, it, guys, you can't save these women. 
they choose to date the bad guys, alright? This woman is attractive, uh, a, a lot of men will want to take care of her and provide for her and, and treat her like a little princess, alright? A lot of men would want that, it's just she didn't choose them. She chose the bad boy who clearly didn't care about her and showed the, the same low interest in 13 years and, and she had a kid with him. It's like, guys, you can't save these women. Now, the only difference with the dog is that, uh, because it's a dog, right? And it doesn't understand that if we don't help him, he's going to die. So we call uh, the animal take, the, the, the people who take care of animals and they shot him with one of these darts uh, that make dogs fall asleep. And so they, they took him out, they took him to the vet, uh, they, they, they took care of him, right? But you can't do that with people, all right? I can't show up and shoot this woman with a <laughs> with a dart that will make her fall asleep and then uh, take her somewhere to take care of her. Okay, we can't do that, right? It's the best thing for a lot of these women, uh, but you cannot do that, right? So th they have their own free will. Okay, that's the difference between this woman and the dog. The dog didn't decide to be there. It was just going to die because someone decided so. These women, guys, nobody is deciding for them, all right? No, nobody is putting a gun to their head. No, you have to date the men who are going to trash your lives. They put themselves in that situation alone. So what can you do, guys? They expect us to show up when they've already screwed up big time and pick up all the pieces. And let me tell you, even if you do that, because maybe you feel that you are good hearted, even if you do that, guys, it's not going to go well. These women have lost all pair bonding ability and they'll probably just cheat on you or divorce you as well, right? And, and, and again, we're not here to save anyone, all right? Especially the people who put themselves in bad situations. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm sorry for this woman, but there's literally no saving, all right? They have decided to put themselves on this dock that has no way out, and they've decided to die on that hill, and there's nothing you can do about it. But leave me your thoughts down in the comments, guys. And now let's finish the video with this short TikTok. You know what really bothers me as a single mom is the men that try to pursue you but want nothing to do with your kids. Did you miss the SpongeBob filter, gentlemen? I know you did. Like, sorry, buddy. That's definitely not going to work because I'm not going anywhere. But also, the men that, like, are dads to children and haven't stepped up to be that father figure in their kids' life and they pursue a single mom. Like, what makes you think you want to join this chaotic train? Like, you don't take care of your own. I don't want you to take care of mine. But also, like, you haven't done anything. So why would I want you if I already have a deadbeat? Maybe I'll pick up somebody else's deadbeat. So in resume, every man that doesn't step up and provide for her children and play from another man's safe file fathers this woman, right? Like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you be any sort of man uh, but the one that is willing to save me and, uh, you know, pay for my bad choices. In resume is what she wants. Uh, but guys, we're going to close off the video here. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for joining me and Ampu. He always enjoys your presence, so he'll be happy to see you next time, guys. Have a good one now.